So we believe in the future. In Brazilian, they catch the opportunity. About many people, they want to know Brazil more. Then the name, made in Brazil, means it's a great name. And also, as a Chinese, I find a difference between Brazilian and China there. You can find many well-educated Brazilians, and they are manufacturers. But it's hard for you to find well-educated manufacturers in China. If you are the importer, you will have this experience when you go to China. It's hard for you to communicate with the boss. The boss know nothing about technology, know nothing about quality. But they can sell just because of price. But Brazil, you can find a product very good quality. They will keep on quality. And those products, they definitely can sell and compete with Chinese products. Just Brazil, you need to be well known by the overseas people. As Kasasha example, people don't know the Kasasha from Brazil. People don't know the panettone in Brazil is more delicious than the panettone in Italy. But you must let people know that. Then you can export. And also I can find one more thing that compared to Chinese government, Brazilian government help export more. But just the export is not just about the government help. Seabrine, Apex, CNI, they help a lot. They spend a lot of money every year. But those help lack of one thing. The thing is, to make people really know there's a manufactured country called Brazil. That's the main problem. And Alibaba.com is the solution. That's why when we met the president of APEC in Mexico, we have a meeting, international meeting, and we explained to him about Alibaba.com. Within half hour, he know that Alibaba.com will be the tool will be something Brazil lack of for a long, long time. And it's hard for government organization to promote trade. But for private company, a listed company, it's a different story. You say, oh, we have many manufacturers in Brazil, but they just don't think about export. They can export, the product is good, quality is good, but it's hard for you to persuade them Hey, try export. Try to sell the product over the sea. The boss will say, Oh, I prefer just Brazilian market. Enough for me. Sports drink. Okay. Oh, sell a lot already. 1.5 million. Enough for me. I'm happy. Why I need to think about export? So for Seabrite, for APAC, for those staff, they don't have commission, right? So then they will give up. Okay, you, you say you only, only want to sell Brazil, okay, fine. But for Luna Trade, it's different. Our salesman, if we can persuade one company to export, to be gold supplier, they can get commission, right? So for our salesman, he will not give up. He will keep trying. I have a sales girl calling a customer in South. Uh, real big, real branded. Dog soup, right? That customer, she called him one month ago and then talked about half hour. And the person said, let me think about it. Call me next week. And then my sales store called him next week. And the guy said, oh, sorry, I'm busy, I'm in a meeting. And then my sales store, Wednesday, call him again. Thursday, call him again. And the guy said, I'm busy, call me next week. My sales store called him next week. For us, it's like, if your product really good, and we will sell. So we must push you to think about using Alibaba.com. So we believe. Now you see Brazil, the export is about number 22. China is number one. Germany is number two. United States is number three. But this number will increase. Because when you check, those countries, they sell a lot. Because those countries, they use Alibaba very well. Can I answer your question? Okay. So. Uh, this, this later. 
Boa noite. Vocês citaram é, sobre novas vagas que terão no futuro, né? Como as pessoas interessadas elas podem enviar currículos e como é, é feito esse processo, o processo seletivo e o treinamento desses profissionais para inserção no mercado? So now it's a recruitment, right? <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, yeah, we are um, looking for talented people. Uh, we are looking for the people they are open-minded. 